In the Brady Heights area, just west of downtown, Scott Smith saw a new opportunity for an old idea, the neighborhood market. Well, we live in uh, what has been termed a food desert. When I see people trudging uh, in all kinds of weather to catch the bus to get to a, a supermarket anywhere nearby, it kind of started my wheels turning. I saw an opportunity. I thought, I've got a captive audience. <laughs> so Scott opened the Blue Jackalope, a small local grocery and coffee shop catering to the local clientele and featuring locally produced goods. This is not just another convenience store. It's a community store much like our parents had and our grandparents had when they were growing up. In fact, I've had customers stop in and look around here and say, gee, Scott, did you know there were 11 stores within a mile and a half of here back in the, the 30s, the 40s, even up into the 50s? That's amazing to me that everyone shopped that locally. Produce is purchased from farmers markets, meat is supplied locally, and there's a sense of neighborhood pride in what Smith is trying to do at the Blue Jackalope. Definitely for this area, it's important because if people are going to walk somewhere and eat, it's better for them to walk here and grab something fresh than to walk to a convenience store and get some package, you know, bag of chips or something like that. So it definitely makes a difference. I definitely shop at the Blue Jackalope a lot because of the local foods factor, that they make sure to buy locally and that it's fresh and that it's healthy, and that, that really means a lot to me, and I mean, I'm feeding this to my family. So. I think the biggest concern really for someone going into something like this is getting the buy-in from the community that they're moving into. Even though I've lived here a long time, it took me a good nine months before people really started to see this as a place to come get food rather than to come down and, and get a soda pop or some chips or something. Smith is working with the North Tulsa Economic Development Initiative to help build local suppliers and support for more local groceries to serve North Tulsa as well as underserved rural communities. He knows it takes good food to build a better neighborhood and is just now seeing his hard work begin to pay off. Well, it feels great. I mean, I can't tell you what a nice feeling it is, how validating it is to have people come in and greet me by name and just kind of become part of their extended family community-wise. Chris Howell, NewsOn6.com.